Uh, so let's go on with a discussion about the challenges that our teen daughters face. So the third challenge is on sexual harassment. Dear parents, if you do have a teenage daughter, how often do you talk to them? Apart from that, have you ever held or had a one-on-one -on -one talk on sexuality? Have you ever told your daughter it's wrong for people to harass them sexually? Have you ever done that? If you have never done that, then you are failing as a parent. I know most of the parents, and especially in Africa, they always leave sex talk to teachers. Teachers can talk to your students about uh, sexuality, but remember, it can be uh, like a by the way. It may not be that thorough. Therefore, as a parent to a teen daughter, and especially when you realize that your daughter is approaching teenagehood, you are supposed to start just having small conversation on sex so that they know what sexual harassment is. When I look at the definition of sexual harassment, it's very broad. Let our daughters know that there are some compliments, they call them compliments. There are some things that men tell them that entails to sexual harassment. Sometimes a person can look at them suggestively. That is sexual harassment. Let them understand that sexual harassment is not only about the sex act itself. It can be the way a person looks at you. Sometimes a person can make a comment about your body. That is a red flag, that that is sexual harassment. Sometimes it, uh, it can be a person who is trying to, you know, force your daughter to engage into sexual act. Sometimes it can be your daughter is being touched inappropriately. That is sexual harassment. Dear parent, a parent to a teen daughter, have this conversation. I've had parents ask me, and especially the male parents, how can they have such a conversation with their daughter? My dear man or my dear male parent who has a daughter, if you feel like you cannot talk to your daughter or you cannot have such a conversation with your daughter, get a female relative in your family. Of course, I know you will not miss one. If you don't have a sister, you may have a cousin who you trust. Let them have a talk with your daughter. Let your a mother do that. Or even their mother. Those who are, who, uh, because I know I have cases of friends that are raising their children alone. They separated with their wives or the wives died. Get someone who can talk to them. Because they need someone to tell them the truth. And this talk on sexual harassment, as a parent, I feel it, it should start earlier, very early. And especially when children uh, start grasping ideas, like at the age of um, around six. You can start by mentioning, uh, mentioning to your daughter that when a person touches their private parts, that is not okay. Let them tell you so that as they grow up, they know that this is not normal. This is not normal. And they'll be very fast to come to you and tell you that someone touched them inappropriately. Someone made a comment that was not okay. Let them not just absorb everything that they are being told by people because it is affected, affecting them psychologically. So dear parents, and especially those ones that have teen daughters, please be open to a sex talk with your daughter. Tell them the consequences of premarital sex. What I know with teenagers, because I handle teenagers, most of them, what they fear is not HIV and AIDS. They don't fear STIs. What they fear is pregnancy. Because for pregnancy, it is like almost immediately. And therefore, most of them would want their parents not, to, uh, not just to know that they are sexually active. And therefore, the only thing that they are going to ensure that the, uh, the, this uh, does not occur is them getting pregnant. But have a talk with your daughter with your niece. Let them know that apart from pregnancy, we have STIs, we have HIV and AIDS. Let them know that all these consequences that come with sex, talk to them so that they know, you know, that they are in this stage 
where the, they are kind of, uh, you know, kind of exposed, kind of in danger, prepare them so that they know it is not all about pregnancy. Apart from pregnancy, we have these other diseases. And some teenagers, when they become pregnant, they opt for abortion. Let them know that number one, abortion is illegal. Like in Kenya, abortion is illegal. So let them know abortion is illegal and also let them know the long-term consequences of abortion. So my dear parents, ensure that if you've never had or held a sex talk with your daughter, this holiday, when they come home for, you know, the August holiday, please talk to them. And if you cannot, get someone to talk to them. So that they know that they don't need to be sexually harassed by anybody. Protect your daughter as much as you can. I find it very heartbreaking where innocent daughters are just sexually harassed by people. And sometimes even it is worse because these people, they are sometimes older than them. You can sometimes even find that they are your age mates, that you, maybe even your friend who is harassing your daughter. So let us ensure that we protect our daughters. Let us protect them. Let us protect them as much as we can. Let us not allow predators to just get hold of our daughters and mess their future. So uh, the third, uh, is it the third? No. The fifth thing that is affecting teenage daughters is on understanding their all their reproduction systems and all that. At the onset of puberty, most of the girls realize that their body has a lot of changes. Uh, we have breasts that grow, we have the pubic hair, and also we have the onset of menses. And sometimes it is a challenge to these dear daughters because you as a parent did not prepare your daughter. And in high school, we see most of, uh, most of these girls, and especially at Form 1, and form two, when they realize that their uh, breasts are enlarging, they don't want to remove their jumpers. So you'll find a girl in a sweater. Apart from the sweater, they have a jumper. And most of the time they can walk like they are bending so that they hide, so that people cannot note their enlarging breasts. So it is your responsibility as your parent to ensure that you prepare your daughter psychologically so that they understand that as they progress, these are changes that they are going to experience. Yeah, changes that they are going to experience so that they do not become as shy, so that they just have confidence. And then on menses, that is their monthly period, prepare your daughter so that she's ready to receive her menses. I have seen in places like Nairobi, big, uh, big cities like Nairobi, Kisumu, I've seen in Nakuru, where we have what we call period party. So period parties are usually are prepared are, are rather organized by organizations and these organizations usually focus on girls that are, are from the age of eight years eight years up to around 13. so oh, this is what parents do and especially parents who are afraid to talk to their daughters about menses what you do you just take your daughter to that particular session and the girls are talked about menses they are told everything that is going to happen at that particular time, they are prepared and they, they are even shown how to wear their pads. They are, uh, they are told it is a beautiful process. It is not something that they should be you know, ashamed of. So they are prepared psychologically. Until when they start receiving their menses, they know what is happening to their body. We've seen cases of girls that start receiving their periods and most of the time they soil their uniforms sometimes even dresses and you'll find that this is a very innocent girl who was not aware that she is in puberty and she'll start receiving her menses on the other hand there is a parent who is very shy to talk to her daughter about these changes that are expected so my dear parent start having this conversation in future we can think of uh, just uh, organizing one period party and especially in whichever the locality that you are in, like myself, I can think of a period party here in Kitale town so that girls are informed, so that it does not become a challenge to them 
rather they embrace the changes and understand that it is part and parcel of their lives they understand how to handle themselves at such times and also how to maintain hygiene and everything so what do you think their parents would you support a period party so that our daughters are enlightened remember these are challenges that are affecting them so you can imagine a girl who soils her uniform in school she is going to be very ashamed and once she becomes ashamed it means that her self esteem is going to be affected because she'll always wonder what people are saying behind her back and the reason is not that it is her fault it is the fault of a person and especially a parent who did not find a way out on enlightening this particular daughter i think our curriculum and especially for the primary school is very limited in the past we used to do home science in primary school and it was so easy for us to understand everything that is taking place in our bodies and all the changes that are coming into place but nowadays subjects are limited and most of the time these girls don't have an opportunity where they can learn such stuff and because they don't have the opportunity who is going to do that it is either you as the parent to step up talk to your daughter about the changes that they should expect in puberty or get someone to do it as i have always said get a close friend that you trust get a female relative that you trust talk to uh, ask their grandmoms to talk to them and these girls are going to be ready and they and this and their self confidence is going to be at top notch and the reason is because they had someone who prepared them otherwise if they are not prepared it is going to be a very embarrassing experience and once it is embarrassing their self esteem is going to go down so what do you think about this video dear parent if you like what i'm doing consider subscribing please like this video so that it can be pushed to many parents so that they learn on her on the challenges that their uh, teenage daughters do experience and the best possible ways of helping them thank you and goodbye